This is one of the quietest patrols you'll ever see. The Green Starry Patrol treads lightly, their lips sealed, their eyes wide open. Their job is to hunt the hunters. Thieves, robbers, illicit tree cutters, those types of people come inside the forest to destroy. We try to protect the forest, she says. The thieves she speaks of hunt for century-old trees for timber and wildlife that once flourished in what is now Bangladesh's Chunati Wildlife Sanctuary. Elephants come through these roads and go to Burma and India's forests. This is an elephant's footprint. So that's a print, footprint. Mohammed Alam is the chief ranger here, working for the Bangladesh Forest Department. He says he's seen 46 elephants in this sanctuary, but they are at risk, partly because small portions of this land is cropland owned by private citizens who were here before this was turned into a sanctuary. When elephants come to their field to take food from their field as destroy the crops, then the farmer um, disturbed them by firing from uh, firing box to the jungle. They're setting uh, the jungle on fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It takes a village to make sure the different species here, from migrating birds to old majestic trees to elephants, are not harmed. The wildlife sanctuary spans more than 77 square kilometers and was established in 1986. But even after its designation, the forest was still being laid to waste by those who wanted to take its valuable assets. At that time, uh, there was a system of selling the trees by the government. Community leader Amin Khan says hunting was still going strong too. He should know. He was one of the most respected hunters in his village. But a program funded by USAID and Germany's development agency, GTZ, helped change things. It relies on education and a strong partnership between the community and the government to protect Bangladesh's natural resources. Khan learned enough to change his hunting habit. Hunting was bad because the biodiversity in the hills was destroyed and it has a negative impact on the environment. I should not have done those things. The program also gave women a leadership position they never really had before in the community and a small grant for their volunteer work. The ladies were given a little bit of an incentive at the very beginning. They were given about 3,000 to 3,500 taka, which amounts to about $50. And they did something very practical with that money. They were able to buy cows. They now either consume the milk at home or sell it. Since then, they do their rounds every day with rangers from Bangladesh's forest department. We can see some difference. When I was little, we never came here. We can see the forest now, she says. As the community tries to replenish the forest by replacing some of the trees, the Green Surrey Patrol is on the prowl, watching and waiting to pounce on anyone trying to destroy the forest they are slowly nursing back to health. Sarah Seidner, CNN, Chunati Wildlife Sanctuary, Bangladesh.